Today, we're gonna to see if artificial intelligence can take what's inside your brain and turn it into a seven-figure course. Everything from picking your niche, naming your program, getting all of your curriculum in place, we're gonna have artificial intelligence do everything. And at the end of the video, we're gonna put it to the test from somebody who's made six and even seven figures selling online courses and see if this course made by AI will be profitable. So if you're thinking about making an online course, the first place to start is obviously to pick what you're going to teach. You wanna pick something that people are going to pay money for or else all of this is to waste. So let's head over to ChatGPT and see what ChatGPT thinks we should teach. So I'm asking ChatGPT, what are some good niches for online courses in 2023? Let's see what it says. Loading, loading. Spitting out answers right now. First one, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Interesting. Two, cybersecurity and information security, data science and big data analytics, cloud computing, blah, 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 web dev, uh, mobile application, digital marketing, program or project management and personal and professional development, and then blockchain and cryptocurrency. So I've asked this quite a few times, different prompts, and it seems like it's coming up with artificial intelligence and machine learning often, which I actually really like because I think it's a hot market. I think there's a lot of potential and not very much competition yet. So let's go ahead and pick that. Now you might be thinking, okay, wait, I don't know how to code AI. I know nothing about machine learning. One of the tidbits I wanted to give you here today is that you don't necessarily have to know what you're teaching in order to make an online course about it. Now you might be like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Here's what I mean. I built my first business in the online course space without teaching a thing because I took somebody who knew how to do a certain skill, partnered with them, and then scaled that business to $4.1 million in 33 months by just taking their skill, putting it out into the world for them and getting clients and they serve the clients. So even in something like this, you could find somebody who has this skill and sell it for them. But let's continue. So say you are an artificial intelligence whiz kid and you know how to code AI and you can actually teach this. Well, we need to boil this down because just a course teaching artificial intelligence isn't specific enough. And I was talking with a friend last week and he wants to make a course on public speaking. And I was like, you know, you're missing something here. It's not quite clicking for me. And I hadn't quite put to words why, but this happens all the time. People bring me course ideas and I'm just like, ah, it doesn't really excite me yet. It doesn't really sound like this is gonna be a really hot market or a hot course. So as we were talking about this, I realized the reason was simple. It wasn't unique, right? And I told him, you can get uniqueness from one of two ways. Either one, you can be the best in the world at what you teach, right? Think of Tony Hawk teaching skateboarding, Alex Honnold teaching rock climbing, Joe Rogan teaching podcasting. All of these people would be so unique if they made a course on it and some of them have on masterclass because they truly are the best. But what does that mean for the rest of us? Because if we're not Joe Rogan or Alex Honnold or Tony Hawk, how can we build real online courses that get people results? The answer is specificity. You see, you can either teach broadly sales or you can niche down and teach people who say want to become remote closers and teach them a very certain type of sales, how to land their first job, a certain type of scripting. And that's exactly what Cole Gordon did. He built a $30 million a year business off just that. So rather than trying to serve everyone teaching sales, he focused down and only taught people who wanted to remote closing and he became the best at that. So with that being said, let's ask AI to see if it can kind of make this more of a specific course for us. So I asked ChatGPT what would be a specific result uh, for a course on artificial intelligence. And it's not really giving me much because what we're looking for here is instead of just teaching art of intelligence and how to code it, we want something more specific, like how to grow your software development career in AI, right? How to land a job as an AI developer or how to start a tech startup in AI. We want something more specific like that. So let's say it's learning how to grow your career as a software developer and actually land a job as an AI developer. So I asked it what would be a good brand name for an online course that teaches artificial intelligence. Let's see what it says. All right, so it's pumping out some brand names for an online course on artificial intelligence. Number one, AI Mastery. Number two, The Intelligent Edge. Number three, AI Insights. Number four, Natural Network Navigator. Five, AI Prodigy. Machine Learning Mastery. Deep Learning Dynamics. AI Academia. The AI Initiative. And Cognitive Classroom. Those are all pretty good, honestly. Typically what I'm looking for in a name of an online course is you want the name that represents the end result. So I really like AI Prodigy because it kind of represents somebody that's gonna become a prodigy at this uh, and people are gonna seek after for these different job opportunities. So let's go with AI Prodigy. So now that we have our name, we need to know what we're actually going to teach inside of our online course. Now, when you think about how to teach inside of an online course, I want you to think about your online course as a map, right? The point of the lectures, the point of the different things inside the classroom is to get somebody from a point A 
to a point B. Point B being the end result, in this case, being an AI prodigy, from point A knowing nothing about coding AI at all in as little of a time as possible, right? Nothing more, nothing less. So we want our map to be as efficient as possible. Point A to point B. That means you remove a lot of stuff that you don't need and you make sure you're filling in all the different holes. So let's ask ChatGPT what that would look like. Awesome, so this actually listed out some pretty good different pieces of curriculum that you could put inside of your online course. It talks about giving introductions to different applications in software development, overview of the different algorithms. I'm not gonna go on and on, but what I was really impressed by is that it actually added the number eight, career development advice for software developers interested in expanding their skills into AI, including job search strategies and portfolio building because if it didn't add this, I was going to put something like this in for myself, where you can add something about how to build your resume, these different things about how to actually land these jobs, where to seek them out at the different conferences or events where you can network and meet these types of people. Because again, from point A to point B, and as little of a time as possible. So the more you can hold your customer's hand inside of your online course, the better. So I'm really, really impressed with this. The next thing I'd probably want us to do is to expand this and then maybe put that into sections or weeks. So one really cool thing you can do with ChatGPT is expanding on what they just said. You can tell it to make it shorter, you can tell it to make it longer, you can tell it to make it more humorous. You can have it do really anything. So I just told to expand on this and now it's giving me more of a paragraph format of the different things that we'd put inside of the online program. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into actual weeks, which brings me to my next point. You want your program to be in weeks because it's more digestible, right? People can think, okay, this is what I have to do this week. It puts a timeline on it and they can feel like they're accomplishing something. And also you can make it to a point where it's not too much, right? You can kind of uh, allow them to stack the wins of completing something where they get the three videos done that week and they feel very good about themselves rather than you don't want it on the other side where you have so much stuff that they can't possibly get through it and then they get stuck and left behind and they just give up on the whole thing, right? A big thing with online courses is retention. You want people to be able to go through the entire online course at a high rate, right? You don't want people falling off your online course because then they won't get the result they're after. So now that it put this into more of a longer expanded version, let's tell it to actually put this into weeks so we can put this into our online course once we film it. So just like that, it's pumping out the suggested week by week outline for this online course. Week one is an introduction to AI. Week two is an overview of different AI algorithms and so on and so on. So this is actually spitting it out. I'm very curious to see how many weeks it actually comes up with. Typically, I like to find anywhere from six to eight weeks. It seems like that's the most digestible. A good rule of thumb though, is you don't wanna go over, you don't wanna go under. You just wanna give, again, the fastest path from point A to point B. So people kind of get drowned down in different, like how long should I make my videos? How long should I make my whole entire course? And although that is important, it does affect retention. At the end of the day, what's more important is do they get the information they need? But we do have a tendency typically to over fluff it, to add things that aren't really essential and just slow our customers down. So this put out nine different weeks. We could probably condense that a little bit further, maybe into seven to eight weeks if we really wanted to. But let's just go ahead and keep it at this nine weeks for now. We got all the different nine weeks. So what would I do now? Well, I would either take this if I knew and I would probably just put this into bullet points and I would deliver the course and look through it and obviously add anything, any holes that I thought it might have. Uh, or I would hand this over to the person that knew how to do this stuff and I would have them record it and then I'd go through and sell it. But this is a pretty good start. If you're wondering how to actually film these videos, really there's a myriad of different screen recording softwares out there uh, from Loom to QuickTime to Vimeo. They all have different softwares or you can have a high production set like this one right here where you're recording in front of something. I think the easiest way to record these online courses is using Loom. You can use the Loom desktop app, actually get pretty good quality out of it and just put those right into the platform that we're gonna put all of this course onto and we'll get to that in a minute. But one thing you really do wanna invest in is a good quality microphone. So I recommend if you're on a budget going to the Yeti Blue on Amazon, it's about 120 bucks. It'll give you some pretty good audio quality to start with. That way people can actually digest what you're saying, they can hear you and it's good quality. There's nothing worse than hearing like the laptop microphone and the fans going on. Just no one wants to watch that, right? So having a good quality microphone, uh, investing that hundred bucks, and then you can go a little bit cheaper on the Loom. I think that's about $5 a month. And you can record the videos on there and there's a very simple way to put those onto the content portal. Again, I'm gonna show you here in just a second how to do that. But before we do that, I know making an online course, making the actual videos can be really, really daunting. So I wanna go over a few quick tips that'll help you make really amazing videos that will get your customers a result they're after 
first try. Number one is just to understand you're not going to have a perfect online course with version one. On my last online course, I went through three different versions before I eventually sold the company and none of them were perfect. Everyone was getting a little bit better and really no product in the world on version one is perfect. No product on version 10 is perfect. Your job is to figure out what's point A, what's point B, what's everything I know about the fastest path to get there and then fill any holes along the way as you go, right? Again, you don't have to marry this online course. If you make it, in two weeks from now, you realize you need to add more stuff, add more stuff. If you make it in a year from now, you know, you've made a half million dollars and you want to add more things to the course, or you just want to completely redo it, that's totally fine. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just get it out there, launch it, because you want to know that it's actually going to work. Number two is there's actually a basic structure for teaching instead of online courses that I learned from Russell Brunson, who's a billion dollar entrepreneur, and it's helped me a ton. The structure is story, strategy, tactics, results, action items. Might have added a few things in there, but basically it goes with first, you tell a story about how you learned or earned what you're saying, right? So for instance, if I was teaching how to network at these AI events, I might tell a story about how before I was going on Indeed, I was posting all these job boards and I was just going and just really not landing any interviews and I was feeling like I was getting absolutely nowhere. But then one day I stumbled across this AI networking event and I went to it. I met so many people and the next week I had three job opportunities, right? Something like that, that will allow your customer to, for it all to click inside their head that, wow, I need to go to these networking events. That's the way to go and actually get these job opportunities. And once you tell the story, now your people are paying attention. They, they have some buy-in to what you're saying. The second piece is the actual strategy. So you wanna give them the overarching strategy, the 30,000 foot overview of what you're teaching, right? And you can think about this as if you give them the granular detail, right? Like how to code a specific piece of code uh, inside of AI, but they don't understand the overarching principle, the overarching strategy of how this works into the whole system, they're not really gonna understand, right? So they need to understand and have the full picture before you give them the tactics, which is the next point. That's where you literally show them step-by-step, step, here's what to put first, here's what to put second, here's why we put this here, here's some common pitfalls to avoid, you want the actual tactics. So it's been story, then strategy, now the tactics. Now the next is typically, I like to back it up with some type of result, right? So I want them to get even more buying that this is the best way to go because I want them to get the result they're after, right? And if they don't listen, they won't get the result. So I typically show a case study or I'll say something else about how this worked for me and so on. Then the last thing in the video is typically if there's action items, you wanna go over those, but you want them to leave with a very clear directive of where to go, right? I do this in all different types of settings, in YouTube videos and client conversations and online courses. You want people at the end to get a recap of everything they need to do so they know how to do it, they can go and they can get it done and they're not getting lost in the long video. So that's the basic structure, story, strategy, tactics, results, action, items. So that's the actual structure. With this, you can actually go and start recording these videos and have way better videos than I had on my version one of my course because I did not know that strategy on V1 of my course. So I'm a little bit jealous of you. So now that we actually have these videos, how do we take them from Loom or whatever other platform we recorded on and put them to a content portal, something where we can package them and actually distribute them out to our customers and get ready to sell them, which by the way, we're gonna go over how to sell this stuff in a later video. So by far right now in 2023, the easiest platform to build these online courses on is School. School is actually a platform built by Sam Ovens, who has made over $60 million inside the world of online courses. So he knows exactly what you need for your online course and more importantly, what you don't. So it's super simple, it's fairly affordable, it's 99 bucks a month and you can make a great online course that is gamified, made for retention and will get your customers results thereafter. So I wanna show you how easy it actually is to make online courses instead of school. So I just made this free trial right here. You can go down below, there'll be a link for a 14 free day trial. I will get some kickback for that if you wanna use it. But there's quite a few things on here and you can see it's very, very simple. And I'll show you in a second here, a completed version of this. But you can see there's a cover photo uh, and then there's other settings down here. So you can invite your people, you can invite your customers simply by adding in their email address and you can change a lot of the different uh, things in here as far as group name, you can add an icon, a cover photo, very, very simply. And then you have the community, which people can actually ask questions in, they can post, all of that good stuff to make sure they're getting all the support they need, and it's all in one place. And then next, you have your classroom. This is where you can actually build your course. So just to show you how easy this is, I'm gonna put add course. I'm gonna type in AI Prodigy. So I put in my course name. You can add in a course description. We'll just say learn how to code with AI. And then all members have access, publish, add. And just like that, this course is created, and now I can go in here and start adding modules. So 
you can see here these this new set right here is a week right so you can come in here and you can change this and this can be like week one save and then i can come in here and change this video so i can go straight to chat gpt and say i want to make this video on super supervised and unsupervised learning so i can add that in there and then literally all you do is add in your youtube vimeo or wistia or loom link you can add a quick description and even the action items you put on the video right down there and a transcript if you want click save and that's it your video is up and rocking and rolling and just to show you an actual finished example of this this is consulting accelerator a course by sam ovens who built the platform and you can see here how he put this little cover photo he has a little icon he has a description there's 9,000 members in here, there's a leaderboard, and then here is the community. People are coming in, they're asking questions, they're getting responses, and then you can see the classroom here is where there's actually the content, right? So this is how it look once you break down all your content. Again, it's so simple. I've used so many other platforms out there like Kajabi and Teachable. They're complicated, there's constantly things that seem like they're going wrong and bugs and all this stuff that you just don't wanna deal with. This is the simplest if you just want your course and community all in one place as well as it has a calendar for all your different uh, different Q and A calls and things of that sort, you can see all the members and leaderboards, etc. So I would definitely recommend School again. If you want to sign up for School, you can use my affiliate link down below. Get a 14 day free trial on School and mess around with it. See if it's the platform for you. But I promise you, it's the simplest and easiest platform out right now. So now that we have our curriculum, we have our videos filmed, we have our name, we have everything done, and everything's even inside of a School account, we're ready to start selling this. Here's a preview of next week's video where we're gonna use AI to actually sell our online course. So as promised, I wanted to give you my opinion from a multi six and even seven figure course seller myself on if I think this course would be able to make seven figures. And honestly, I do. I think there's tons of software developers out there who would want to learn how to code in AI and they want an effective, uh, decently reasonable price way to do it because there's obviously boot camps and things that charge 15, $20,000. But I think a $5,000 program teaching these exact things would be very, very valuable to people. I think a lot of people would resonate with it. And at $5,000, I mean, even if you get 200 different clients, you can make literally a million dollars. So I think this is a course that has a ton of potential. And if any of you out there know how to code AI and want to make a course together, reach out to me at Ryan, a consulting label. I might have a position for you. But that's it for this video. If you want to see how to actually use AI to sell your course, in next week's video, we're gonna show AI making an entire sales funnel from scratch. So subscribe for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.